Big curls for the girls. Big curls. Period. I know I'm Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your terrible and AP Zona. Now you know, so make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Enjoy the family. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys how I achieved my version of the top knot, half up, half down style, natural curls, okay? Um, so if you want to see how I got my hair to be this big, heatless with heatless curls, okay? Then you know, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Right. Disregard the fact that I look completely trash. Do you see the kitchen area back here? What you let? It's feeling a little rough. It's looking a little dry. There's barely any curl definition. We gotta get this together, okay? So in today's video, I will be showing you guys um a better version of which I don't want to show y'all on. I'll show you on the side. A better version of this hairstyle, okay? Let me tell you, it's two different ways you can wear this style. You can either section the top half of your head and put it in the top knot bun, okay? And then the back you can do comb rows, you can do straight backs, you can do plaits, you can do a braid out, you can coil your ends with your finger. You can do that way and you'll get the version of the hairstyle that I showed you. If you do anything with like a braid out or comb rose, you will get big hair and then your ends will be coiled because you'll finger coil it. Or, 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 you can use flexi rods. And I will be using flexi rods today because this style, using flexi rods gives you more definition, more curls to find you know all that good stuff i noticed that when i did my comb rows sometimes my my hair wouldn't be tightly braided enough and i wouldn't really have much definition in my hair in the back it would just look really big and fuzzy so if you want that look that i showed you right here earlier definitely just do a braid out or comb rows finger coil the ends and boom you're good you know you're good, but today we're going to put some flex rods in our hair, okay? Because I want big, juicy, voluptuous curls, okay? So, without further ado, let's get started. So right now I'm just going to take out my hair. I had a puff. I've been wearing my natural hair out a lot, you guys, for one, because I've been in the gym nonstop. And I'm not wearing no freaking wig. Or anything like that to the gym. No. I also cannot go to the gym with makeup on. I can't do that, okay? I can't. I may be able to wear a wig if she's, like, really secure to the gym. But I can't wear no makeup to the gym, honey. You won't have to catch me how I am. Woo, baby. Jesus Christ. Right now, this is my water bottle. I'm about to go fill it up with some water, and I'm going to put some conditioner in it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back like good crack. Um, So I got my water in my bottle right here, and I wanted to show you guys the two different conditioners that I love using. I go back and forth in between these two. So this right here is the Moroccan Argan Cream Conditioner. I use this when I feel like my hair is really damaged and dry and brittle. And I use this when I want to bring luster back to my hair um, and try to restore its life. I don't feel that way right now. Y'all probably like, girl, your hair looks dry shit. But, like, I know when my hair really, really needs this. Like, this is really thick, and I use this when I am immediately going to rinse it out. Um, whereas this is the Nourishing Coconut Milk Conditioner, and this is really good for detangling my hair. It also smells good, and I can, this is like light enough for me to use it as a leave-in. So, of course I dilute it though, when I'm doing styles like this. So I just pour a little bit of this into this large bottle of water. Oh my god, I let my mom use it. When she uh, washed my sister's hair, and she, that little girl has so much hair. So, we running low. Hello. Okay, so, I just shook this all up, and I'm basically just about to spray, if it comes out correctly, 
spray all my hair so I can like separate it because ain't even gonna front in front of y'all. My hair has been in this puff for about two weeks, so <laughs> it's probably gonna hurt when I take it out. Now that I've sprayed that, I just go at my hair and tug and pull at it because I'm about to part my hair and section it into two. Uh, the top part is going to be for my top knot. I really don't have to do much to that area. And then we're going to put the flexi rods in the back. because now my arms are hurting so <laughs> I'm just gonna get my um scrunchy and tie the rest up so it stays away this is also a headband just to let y'all know um I use it as a scrunchy because they don't break and pop as easy as regular scrunchies do so now I'm just basically putting this water conditioner situation all over my hair what I'm going to do is put some oil. This is Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil. And I'm going to put that all over my hair just because I want this part to look nice and shiny and well oiled. It also kind of helps with that white cast that I do not want to see. And now I'm going to separate my hair into two. Just so I can detangle it a little bit. Because she a little nappy as you can tell, girl. You know the rules. Always start at the bottom. Work your way up. this curl defining cream just to moisturize it because I usually keep this styling for about a week so I don't want my ends to be super dry and like I said this is the product that puts all that white residue in your hair unfortunately and I'm about to go do the same exact thing to the other side and I'm gonna come back okay so now I'm looking like this I'm looking a little crazy but honey the curls are juicy I can't wait until I get a diva curl you guys um I plan on cutting my hair so I can wear my hair in its natural form but do y'all see these juicy curls baby this is what this product does I love it I hate that it gives that white residue nasty look like your head dirty type of look but it does justice for my curls, okay? So now I have something like this. I'm about to put my hair basically into a top knot. So what you will be needing is another hair tie. Um, a good brush. A good brush. And some eco. Or whatever gel you prefer. Just know I take a lot of products, honey. A lot of products and I put it all over the base of my head also it's really important to position your um top knot where you want it I like to put mine at the very top of my head I don't know it just does something for me girl it just does something for me oh my god and in combination with the curl defining cream and the eco girl your hair be so white when you first do it it's so ugly like i look like a, a old person it look like my hair is gray right now but anyways
was a lot of work. I'm looking a little crazy. Don't judge. So now that I have that, I just like to clip it back for a little bit while I slick this down even more using Eco, the the spray. This is not Eco. Wait, this is not Eco. Using got to be <laughs> free spray. Um, to tell her what the freak you talking about. But before I do that, I do take Eco to do my edges. So I like to brush out all of my edges prior to spraying the free spray. Because, girl, this free spray don't be playing no games. Like, no games whatsoever. It locks all of your hair down. It does its job, you know, don't don't get me wrong. I love that it works really well, but you just got to make sure you put your edges out first. You can flick those how you want to without worrying about them being stuck to the rest of your ponytail. So what I do is spray a really good amount on my hair, not my edges. And I slick my hair down. Sometimes I add a little bit more gel, just cause I be doing too much. Also, because my hair is curly and I put a lot of water-based products in my hair, my curls be trying to pop out of the dead one ponytail and I don't be with that. So, and then I get my scarf and I just put it on my hair so it can stay in place. And now it's time to fleek my edges. Now my edges are fleeked and now you can see this is super duper slick. My computer and my camera are both about to die right now. So I'm going to just chill out for a second and go uh, charge those up for a little bit and I'm going to come back. Okay? Okay. So as you can see, while I took that break, I went ahead and did like half of my head. Um, So far I have one, two, three four flexi rods um and now we are about to do this side so this side was when i first did it it's dried now but it was freshly detangled um i put just the water and conditioner and the oil in it so now all i have to do is re-wet some pieces because girl it didn't got dry and i'm now going to put the curl defining cream in it so Basically, with these flexi rods, the red ones are a little bit smaller and the green ones are a little bit bigger. Um, I just mix and match so my curls aren't the exact same and they don't like coil into each other and create like big clumps. Because, I don't know, if your curls just clump all up together, you're not going to have much volume, okay? So that's why you, I like to use flexi rods of a different size. And... I do pretty good sections because I'm not the type that wants to sit here all day doing my hair, you know what I mean? So I spray it once with the, not once, but I spray it a couple of times just to get it wet um, and reactivate those products, you see? And then I just like to add a little bit more of the cream. And I focus it on my ends, like so. I brush her out one more good time. Make sure it's super, super smooth, you know. And then I like to take the flexi rod, start at like the middle, closer to the ends. And I wrap the hair around. Some I like to wrap it as if I'm 
doing what are those curl wall curls i like to wrap it flat i like to twist it i like to do both just so uh i have some like i don't know some different curls going on i don't like my curls looking all the same and then i just like to roll it up to the top and i bend it I am going to sleep with these in tonight, so you do want to kind of pay attention to how you fold them up so you're not like sticking yourself throughout the night. So I'm just going to keep doing that until I have no more hair to curl up. But I'm going to show y'all once more so I know y'all got it zoom packed. Also, if you haven't liked this video yet, girl, what you doing? You came here and got all my tips and tricks. You see all the products I'm using. I'm showing you step by step, and you ain't like the video yet, girl. Is you a hater or what? Like the video. So long. But not for it, like the video. Curly hair, it don't matter how many times you uh detangle your hair in one day, it's still going to get tangled right back up. Jesus Christ. And you guys, I swear by this Suave Curl Defining Cream, like this must be my product. You know how when, you know, you find a product that works really good for you and like, it make your curls look bomb? That must be my product. That's my product because my curls have never looked this good with like just a couple of products in it. I always have to do the most or add a gel for my curls to actually coil. Nah, that's 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 my product right there. Also, if you want to get the most volume out of this um out of this style, you want to curl one going towards your face, and then the next one you do, you want to curl away. So I think this one I curled away, and this one I curled towards, and I just keep going back and forth, alternating uh, directions, so my curls once again don't curl into each other, and I get as much volume as possible. It's pushy blood. Like, look at my curls before I add the cream. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? This is just like a little bit of cream for my puff. Water, a little conditioner, and oil. Y'all see that? Do y'all see? Also, comment down below what type of curl pattern you think I have. I think I am a mix between 4A and 3C, but I really don't know. And a lot of my curls look different from each other. I don't know if it's heat damage or what, but um, I don't really put much heat on my hair, so I doubt it's that. But they be looking different, child. So like right here, I'm wrapping it flat, and then you can twist it, and then you can end it with a flat wrap, you know, do whatever you please. And then it's really good to put your ends and wrap the hair over your ends so it doesn't slide out. I know you got all this product, you got all this oil, your hair is a little slippery, you want to make sure you cover your hair with the flexi rod in the other hair as you roll up. I hope that makes sense. If not, just play that part back and watch exactly what I do. But yeah. Now that I have all of my hair in flexi rods, this is what it's looking like. Okay, look crazy. I know. Don't judge. So my camera died, but basically that's what my hair looked like the night before. And now I'm about to show you guys the next day. All I did was put on a silk scarf and bonnet and I took my ass to sleep. Hey you guys, so we're back, it's the next day, I know I had a cone head just now, don't judge me boo boo, but I just finished doing my makeup, cause I wanted to look cute for y'all, you feel me, so comment down below if I look cute, <laughs> say nah. But, um, woo, girl, I'm so glad I just got that off my head, Jesus Christ. Okay, so, I pray to God that all my hair is dry because looking back at the footage from last night, I did put a lot of products in my hair. Right now, I'm looking for my pick. 
But, um, my hair be dry, so I'll be feeling like I need it. But basically, I'm just about to take my flexi rods down. And I'm going to pluck my curls out and things like that. Oh, they're so cute. Yay, so cute and bouncy, pretty and poo. And I don't know if I showed y'all yesterday me putting my hair in this bun, but that's not the bun for my top knot, okay? I'm going to fix it and make it look cute. I just did that so I can go to sleep last night, honey. But um, I'm going to show you guys one side of my hair, how I take down one side, and then I'm going to go and do the other side off camera because y'all don't need to see the same thing but basically I take the curl and I just pull at it and I take little pieces and I kind of like to let it separate on its own you see how right here this one is kind of like separating by itself I slightly pull at it and I like finger coil it in the direction that um it was curled in and that's Honestly, all I do to separate the curl, can't really see it because it's in the back of my head, but, um, yeah, that's really all I do. I'm be honest with y'all. If I had a, a week, I'm so sorry if the audio was trash. I just noticed that I had my, um, heater on as I sit next to a flyer at fireplace, so I'm really sorry if the audio has been trashed this whole time, but, um, if I was being honest, if I'm be honest with y'all, if you have a hooded dryer, I would definitely sit under it for a little bit because my hair isn't damp, but I did put a lot of product in it. And um, the curls would hold just differently if you sit under the dryer, okay? I feel like with this hairstyle and this sweater I got on right now, I'm going to look like either a child or like someone's grandma. <laughs> Uh, it's about to be one or the other. <laughs> now we giving Shirley some food, but it's okay. I'm a I'm going to pluck it out and it's going to get big and it's going to look cute, okay? So right now we're looking a little crazy. But don't worry. I'm going to go ahead and do this side off camera and I'm going to come back when it's time to pluck it out, okay? Whew. Obviously I got some dry scalp. I'm always scratching my scalp, okay? I look really childish, but it's time to pluck, okay? Because these, these itty bitty curls, baby, honey, I'm not fucking with it, okay? It's time to pluck, so I just go at the root. Um, this is basically like just stretching my roots out a little bit. I don't want to mess up my actual curl, so I just go at the root. So this is what we have right now. Of course, my curls gotta um they need time to like fluff out over time and just you know drop a little bit. But they look really really full, and I love full curly hair. So I'm excited. But right now we gotta get this bun together, okay? So, so you're definitely gonna need you some bobby pins for the bun part, and you also may need a rubber band or two one of the stretchier ones okay um and honestly my bun is already in its form which is why i did that last night so like my hair could be ready to be in that mode but basically i'm just gonna brush the hair out a little bit make sure you don't brush your curls out and once i have it brushed out i just like to mold it into a little like top knot bun and i'm kind of a perfectionist so this may take a while and once you have it how you want it you're just gonna bobby pin it
So, yeah, you guys, this is the final product. Trust me, your hair gets bigger throughout the day. The more you keep messing with it, the more it gets bigger. But that wraps up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this natural hairstyle. Um, I noticed that I've been doing a lot of rig wig reviews and things like that. So, I definitely wanted to show you guys some more natural options. So... This one's for all my natural girls. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're on our road to 50,000 subscribers, and I know we're going to get there. It's just a matter of when, so please make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, that wraps up this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. I'm trying